Hi folks, this is Paul Isley, and welcome to episode 2 of Ask Mr. Talanzio. Today I have some questions from Sergio. Very good questions. His question number one is, are Talanzia hybrids fertile? The answer is usually yes, but as with most Talanzias, you cannot use the same plant to get pollination. You have to go to a different plant. And they are not as fertile as the species in general. Uh, you'll have more success if you take the hybrid and you back cross it to one of the two parents. And this is called an intergressive hybrid when you do that. So that's question number one. Uh, they are fertile, but go to a different plant, different flower, different plant, same subgenus. That's another part of this. There are six or seven different subgenera in Tillandsia and stick within the same subgenus, whether it's Tillandsia diaphoranthema, which is the miniatures, the Anoplophytum, the Fiterisa, which is the fragrance, the Alardias. I don't know if Alardias, I don't think Alardias is still one. Take that one out. Ah, anyway, you get the idea. Okay, so the next question, how do I prevent leaves from burning like in a Tillandsia bulbosa? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, because they burn for different reasons. The easiest, of course, is if they sit in too much direct sunlight without the, uh, the humidity level being high enough, and then the leaves can burn from sunlight. Also, they can burn from cold. It will generally look different, and a different part of the leaf will be burned, quote unquote, because it didn't burn, it froze, but it looks, like I said, it looks the same, but it is a little bit different. Um, it's maybe a little bit more on the brown side. It's a lack of, of chlorophyll in the leaf. The chlorophyll dies. So that, those are two easy ways. More difficult ways to know that this is what's causing the problem is if you have too much fertilizer. If you have too much of one of the constituent parts of the normal fertilizer, you can cause leaf burn. Usually this will be out on the leaf tips. And if you have hard water, high alkaline water, combined with fertilizer, that adds a lot more salt to the water, and that causes burning. That can cause burning. Okay? So, that's no... Okay. Sergio's third question is about the plants drying out. Uh, he wants to know what happens when the leaves curl up, why do they curl up, how do you know if they are dehydrated or not, because that's what happens when they get too dry. Most of the plants, a lot of them are channeled. They'll have a leaf, when you look at the end of it, it'll be curved up a little bit like this. As the plant dries out, the edges will curl up toward each other more and more and more. They can even actually touch eventually. If that happens, the plant's getting dehydrated, put it under water overnight and it'll rehydrate. If you can use bottled drinking water or rainwater, that's better. Um, but they are channeled a lot, and, and so if you wanna know whether or not the leaf is drying out, it's hard to tell. We'll put the plant underwater overnight. And when it comes out in the morning and it dries off, whatever it looks like, that's what it's supposed to look like. And then when you see it curling up from there, the two edges of a leaf, then you know that it's drying out. Also, the bottom leaves tend to dry out more quickly than the upper leaves. So that's number three. Number four is he remarks on the fact that Tillandsias occur only in the Americas. Why is that? And he asks if that has something to do with Pangaea, the supercontinent. Well, yes, it does, because the Tillandsias, the bromeliads, the cacti, are arguably the newest plants to evolve on Earth. And they've come in since the last time the continent split apart. There's one cactus, one bromeliad, putatively, that exists in Africa. But basically, both of those families, the cactus family, the bromeliad family, occur just in the Americas. And that's since the last time the continent split apart. And that's some 10 million years ago or so. So those are the questions from Sergio. Good question, Sergio. And uh, we'll see you next time.
Rainforest Flora Incorporated.